Hello everyone, uh, this is Musa from Blender Dojo. Today we will be discussing how to combine two animations from Adobe Mixamo in Blender. If you don't know what Mixamo is, uh, you can look at the link in the description or you can uh, look up some tutorials including this one. Okay, so let's just jump in. First thing you do is you go to your browser and you go to mixamo.com. Uh, then you sign up for an Adobe account. You need that one, but it's free, so don't worry about that. Uh, once you sign in, you find this page. Uh, make sure you are in the character tab. Uh, so you have all these characters. You can use them or you can upload your own character if you just need to use the animations from this website okay then so choose one character then go to animations and from here uh, you can choose any animation but i recommend that uh, you choose from the same category uh, so that way it's easier to stitch them up okay so uh, for me i chose the combat category for this tutorial uh, for the first animation i chose jumping down you just click it and wait for it to load so you can adjust these settings if you need to but let's just download Okay, so here, uh, don't worry about the format, uh, but the FPS, you have to be careful. Uh, if you choose 30 here, uh, after you render your video and you are editing it in another software, make sure there also you have 30 FPS. If it's different from here, uh, your animation will be too slow or too fast. Okay, then you just click download. Then you fire up Blender. All right. So first things first, delete that cube. We love doing that. All right. Uh, you go to file import FBX. Okay. Uh, then you locate your file. Mine is here. It says jumping down. Okay, it has the name of the animation. So, import. All right, now we have the character. Go to side view and let's play to see the animation. All right, we need two animations. So, uh, what you can do now is go back. To mix some more and choose just choose a second animation all right uh, for this one i chose death from right but the same thing you choose the second animation wait it to load and uh, download it okay so once again from blender you import fbx locate your file uh, i chose this one death from right okay so i will import this one again yeah so now you can see we have two characters so let's divide this and make that one into dope sheet all right so from here Press Alt A to deselect everything, and um, as you can see, here we have uh, this thing right here. <laughs> okay, uh, so if you choose the one with the person, you are selecting the amateurs, right? So 
uh, what you need to do is select this one, the number three, the green one of the first armature. As you can see here, it's highlighted in green. Okay. After that, uh, box select. You can use B for that. Uh, these keyframes, uh, all, the, all the keyframes from the second animation. Okay, so put the cursor in front of the uh, first keyframes, all right, just there. Then Control C to copy, Control V to paste, all right. And now we have both animations in one character. So what to do with the second character? Just go to top view, hit G to grab, put it like there, hit shift Z, for wireframe mode, C for circle select, and just hit X to delete that, all right? Now we have two animations, one character. Uh, let's try to play that. Put inside view. Shift Z for the view. Now let's play that. Right, you can see the character moves backwards. Okay. Now, the reason for that is that even though the character was moving forward, the origin of the character did not change. The origin is still right there. Okay. Now, uh, how do we fix that? Well, first things first, you hit Shift A and add a cube and scale it down. Right, select the character, the armature rather, and let's go here. All right, and hit the top and bottom, the up and down arrow keys and go to the end keyframe of the first animation, right here. Once there, go to pause mode. In pause mode, choose this bone right here, the one that's sit sticking out of his back because it's at the center of the character. Okay. Uh, Now click Shift S to snap the cursor to selected, cursor to selected. As you can see, the cursor now is where the character is, okay? Go back to object mode, select your cube, Shift S, and now selection to cursor, all right, the top one. If you choose that one, you see the box goes to where the character is. Now, what this does is it gives us the information right here of how far this character moved in the first place. Okay, so now that you have this information, uh, never mind the Z axis for this one. We'll just look at the Y and maybe X axis. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, screen capture this information or just take a picture with your phone okay keep it once you do that you don't need the cube you can just click X and delete it all right now hit the up the top arrow button oh sorry you have to select the armature and hit the top to go at the start of the second animation 
Uh, once you are here, what you need to do is go to Delta Transform. Now, as you can see here, we have the second location from Delta Transform. So, uh, right here, with the armature selected, hit the left arrow to just move one frame. Okay, you're moving from 89 to 88. After that, go to the Delta Transform, put your mouse there, and hit I for a keyframe, right? So this keyframe, you, as you can see here, it gives you big, uh, yeah, big symbols right here, okay? <laughs> it's different from the rest. Uh, next, hit the right arrow key and go to the data transform and fill in the information that we saved earlier. Once you fill in the information, you see the character moves forward. All right, and now put the mouse there again and hit I for another keyframe. Okay, now as you can see, we have two keyframes for the Delta transformation. All right, now it's just very easy. Just click G from the dope sheet and drag this animation, okay? Now make sure that your second keyframe from the Delta, the big keyframe, swallows, like uh, replaces some of the keyframes from the first one, all right? Uh, right here, I'm just replacing one. Just put it like there. And now if you play back the animation, uh, let's watch together what happens. Right, as you can see, the character doesn't do any weird moves. It works perfectly. So uh, that's how you do it. Just wanted to share with you guys uh, some of the things that I found out while using this program. If you have any questions, uh, ask in the comments. This was my first tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already all right i've been musa from blender dojo bye bye guys